This is Blasco, and he's one of the masterminds behind the BPC series. How'd you guys land on the name Bulldogs? So the one who started the cruise, at the start, they went like four or five of them to like a camping place, and they got really drunk for a birthday of one of them. And they broke the camping place. So they had to pay like 3,000 uh, fine. They got too crazy. Oh, so, wow. And a bulldozer is when you know, like uh, the, the the vehicle that destroys things. Just received a 911 call reporting that there is an out of control bulldozer. That's, what, that's how the name came. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, yeah, they were pretty wide when they were younger. Me, I was a bit, when I was really like, when I was 14, 15, at the, from the same home resort as Sleepy, but I didn't knew them and he always scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was scary, but yeah, but no, no, they're really nice. Since their start in 2018, Bulldoze has gone on to include some of the most innovative talent in the entire culture. From Hoover Dam enthusiasts like Sleepy and Gorillas to Rebel and Realistic Best Trick winner Valentin Morel, the Bulldoze boys continue to feature some of the sexiest skiing I've ever seen on the planet, regardless of the snow situation. Now, you guys have put out some incredible films over the years featuring big road gaps, damn hits, and, and a bunch of park goodness, but you're blowing up especially for the BPC series. What inspired you guys to do this? Three things who inspired us. First, we did the Bulldoze David, the first one, and there was a skier, Sanchez, he's an American skier. Yeah, so he, he, he was there, and there was like a grass, a down grass, like a close to where we lived in Les Ains. And I was going back home from skiing and they were just cheering on the, like him, Oliver Obitzel, and then a few other guys. And he, he went from on, like on top of a log and he just jumped and went full down in the like grass down. And it was really sketch and I thought it was really, really cool. I loved it. He, he took like a huge slab. It was really fun to watch. And I would love to watch uh, on YouTube, Barbie Jeep derbies. Like uh, some Americans, they do the stupid things, you know, they buy like Barbie Jeep and they roll down like, some big ground down that's really fun that was a bit also one of the inspiration and then one day may or april it was a rainy day so we, we thought like let's go try and ski some some down in grass and so we did and it was really fun we really enjoyed it me and sleepy and we did a video and it, it was pretty successful we had like 60 000 views on instagram Blasco also wanted to give a huge shout out to the Hood Crew, Freed in particular, for being a massive inspo for the BBC series. If you haven't checked out their skiing before, man, do yourself a favor and make that happen. And then, so so we said, okay, this summer we have time, let's try to do a movie, you know, from so BPC One. But with Gilles, me, and Sleepy, we did the first movie, so BPC Heart. What does BBC actually stand for? The title is my name, actually. Blasco Paterno, Paterno Castillo. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my name. They, they wanted to, to name it after me. I've, I don't know why. But that was like, that was a teamwork. That was not my, my vision. The first edition of BBC was nuts. We saw Gorillaz take his skis to Red Bull Rampage, putting down some carves that even make Cam Zink's thousand foot backflip tremble. Albi and Sleepy made some big turns in the pastures and Blasco linked up skiing and cliff diving to create one of the most beautiful babies on the entire planet. <laughs> Not only did they thrash their skis and fill their hearts with joy, but the culture also took notice and in a big way. BPC ended up landing over 17,000 views on YouTube, making it the crew's most viewed film so far. And this gave Bulldoze the idea that BPC wasn't meant to be a standalone piece, but rather a series for the history books. Bulldoze gang. This one was absolute carnage. And while a lot of the stunts they're pulling off might look easy to you, I cannot stress how difficult it is to maintain your speed and balance on any surface that isn't snow, let alone tossing an actual combo on some of these features, let alone tossing a 180 to switch nine off a 40 odd foot clip. Now to name a few surfaces, you guys have skied on rocks, toxic waste, water, concrete, sheet metal, playground slides, industrial garbage bins, escalators, sand, uh, and <laughs> okay. lumber. Is there anything still on the bucket list? I'd love to go through glass, ski down like stairs, and just go through a, like a, a window. Holy cow. Just smash through the window. So just glass? So like uh, there is the escalators, you know, on the side of the escalator, sometimes there is like a metal patch that goes down like yeah. in big cities in Paris, there's all of that. I would love to try to ride one. That would be so, so nice. Now, obviously you guys aren't skiing on snow. You don't have that big, beautiful cushion to break your falls. Uh, what What's the injury resume looking like for the crew? That's the craziest shit about it. That we, we no, we don't get injured. What? 
that, that, that's the, because you don't you don't try too much you know you go to a spot you do it two three times uh, and then yeah, you're yeah. done you don't like try like 80 times it's when you try 80 times that often you get hurt you know like at some point you fall not in the right way and then bam like of course there were some falls so we get hurt like it hurts like sleepy last streaks you know when you do the the cork 270 and he fall like on the side he was really hurt after that it was pretty funny but but no we don't get hurt too much it's it's that's that's the magic of it. Well, I imagine your your skis are hurting. How many how many pairs of skis have you guys gone through? Then again, not too much. But me, the thing the thing that always happened every year, I lost one of my ski last year for the end of the movie. I did like a half backflip. Oh, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you know, like last year, like the dots, they were like. Everyone was doing dots and I love dots. And I said to myself, I, I have to do them on, to do one in, on skis, you know, I have. To. So I did the first one on the little jump. Then I went to the spots, to the big spots at the end. And I did one dot and it worked really well. And I was, I went as hype and I said, okay, let's, I'm going to try a half backflip. So I did a half backflip and it worked really well. But sadly, I lost one of my skis. So it just clipped out on impact. Yeah. And it's just some. Oh, brutal. Oh, it was, yeah. So I lost my ski. And this year, I went again to the spot. And I tried to do switch zero of it, but it didn't really work. And I, and I did like three try, and on the last try, I lost again one of my skis. Man. That spot is like eating my skis. Now it's really difficult to get a lot of speed on asphalt. So how many tubes of Vaseline are you guys going through? Like you lubing up your skis with anything? Oh, nothing. What? Oh, nothing. No way. Water. Oh, what works is water. Like you have to have like a uh, steep. It has to be steep. If you want it to be nice, it's had to be like you have to have a, a minimum of steepness. If it's not steep enough, you're not gonna have enough speed. And 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 what works really well is water. If you put water on everything, then you, you slide a bit easier, you know. Or in the forest, sometimes I use leaf for jumps. Like you put leaves, your skis are gonna ride better on leaf than on, on than on the, the, the earth, you know. So there is a few things that you you start to 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 notice, and then you you know how to slide well. And the things you know like that you thought were possible at first. Now I have different vision that I had for the first movie. I know, like, I think we're going to do a next movie uh, next year, another movie next year, and, and we, we have, like, big visions, big spots. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be good. So you tease the possibility of BPC3 coming out in the future, making this series one of the best trilogies in free ski history. But other than that, what's next for you guys in the crew? Me, I'm doing like my acting school. So during the, the winter, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I cannot work with them so much on the movies and shit. But they're still doing like movies. They're going to go to the States. Uh, Sleepy and BG, gonna they're going to do some Salomon things. I think Gilles, he wants to open like a snow park this, 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 this winter in Switzerland. That's the plan. That would be so dope. We lost one of our snow park, which is sad. Uh, Sampo is doing like thing with Laurent, uh, recreation, you know, with his skis, the simple skis. Yeah, they're really nice. Or he's going to continue to work on that. I suppose Remy is going to continue to do a bit of, of street skiing also. Isaac, he's super motivated this season. So I'm happy to see what's going to come of it. And Julius is going to, I don't know what he's going to do because he has to work, he has a kid and everything. So he's going to try to do the most he can. And V is going to continue to do some uh, some competition, I suppose. And he's going to film also more with Arlo. I hope we can do a BPC3. And what the plan would be, would to do a, a Euro tour. So we're going to go like to main cities like Marseille, maybe like in, the, in Spain, uh, Amsterdam, Berlin, Paris. Just to go around because where we live we, we've done everything now before we sign off is there anything else you want to say mm, let me think cherish your crew don't try to be all the same Tre cherish the diversity in your crew because if you have a diverse crew you're gonna have a the video are gonna be more like more colorful so be diverse cherish your crew don't skip for for only yourself be careful of of, of wanting to be mainstream it's just stupid and 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 secondly Build those forever. If you guys want to hear the rest of the conversation with Blasco and myself, where we talk about how they nearly drown, drop in some more cliffs, uh, feel free to click the link in the description. It's going to take you over to Jerry Mail. It's a free ski newsletter that I'm starting out with Bruce Oldman and my buddy Zach. Uh, you, you don't have to be a Jerry to join. You can also you can also be a good skier and still join. The first issue is going to be releasing next week and featuring again some more bulldoze goodness. One last massive thank you to Blasco for hopping on and having a chat. He's an absolute legend, so full of life. And a huge thank you to Bulldoze for pushing skiing in the right direction, man. It's, uh, it's refreshing to see.